Hello and welcome to the next video in this Craft CMS3 tutorial series. So before we go on, I just want to cover a few changes I made. So I added a header, I added a footer, added a few links to this navigation. These don't go anywhere yet. And I created some new styles. So if you want to follow along exactly, you can go to this GitHub repository and download all of this code. I've put a link to this in the video description. All right, so in this video, we're going to cover creating a few new pages, the About Us page and the Contact page, and we're going to create a new general template that we can use for these two pages and maybe for future pages. So let's get started. First, let's go to the code editor. And within the templates directory, let's create a new template. And we'll call this general.twig. So just like we did for the home page, we want this template to extend from the base template. So we're going to say extends index, which is our base template. And just like we did for the home page, we're going to create a block called content. And this is where our templates content will go. So we're going to have two fields in here. We're going to have a title field and a rich text field. So let's create a heading. And this is where we'll output the entry dot title. And then down here, we're going to output entry dot rich text. Great. So that's it for this template. Let's go to the craft CMS admin panel. All right, let's go to sections and let's add a new section first for the about us page. So we'll give it a name of about us. The section type will be single. We won't check this because this is not the home page. We want the URI to be about us. So it will be the website.com slash about dash us. And the template we're going to use is our new general template. So if we start to type, it will suggest it for us. So let's select that and save. Now let's do the same thing for the contact page. Create a new section, call it contact. Section type is single. The URI will just be contact. And the template will be general. So let's save that. All right, let's go over to entries. And let's add some content to each of these. Actually, there we go. We can't do that yet because we haven't added the fields to these sections. So let's do that by going to settings, sections, and we have to edit the entry type for each of these pages to add the fields we want to them. So let's start with about us, create a new tab in the field editor, call it content. And we can reuse our rich text field that we created before. And every entry actually already has a title, but that field isn't editable by default. We can make it editable by clicking this show the title field box here. And we can just create a label for the title field. So we'll just call it title. So let's save this and do the same thing for the contact entry or section. New tab, call it content drag the rich text field into it and make sure we show the title field and give the title field a label of title. So let's save that and now go back to the entry section and edit the home page again. Great. Now we have our fields here and you can see the title field is actually now editable. So for our rich text, let's just put some stuff in here. I have some lorem ipsum saved here, which I'll use. So I'll just create a few paragraphs and save this. And I'll do the same for the contact page. Create a little bit more here and save that. So let's take a look at these in the browser. Let's use the globe link here to open the about us page up. Perfect. There it is. It's using our new template. And because we're extending from the base template, the index.twig template, we automatically get the header in here and we automatically get the footer in here and all of our styles. So that's great. Let's open up the contact page and there it is. Great. So we have our two pages ready to go. As you can see, we can reuse one template for many entries. So that's it for this video. 
Thanks for watching.